Welcome to section 11 of viruses. This is our virus overview figure, and in this video, we'll be discussing polyomavirus, including JC virus and BK virus. You can see them right here. This scene takes place in a shopping mall. As you can see, this guy just purchased a bird whose name is Polly. You can see the bird's name written on the cage right here. Polybird sounds kind of like polyomavirus, so it will be our symbol for polyomavirus. Now notice that we've added two stores to the scene, Burger King and JCPenney. The guy who just bought the polybird decided to come to Burger King for some lunch. Burger King should help you remember BK virus, and JCPenney should help you remember JC virus. Both BK virus and JC virus are polyomaviruses. Okay, now let's talk about a few things from the background of the image. First off, notice that we've made the image very blue. Just like in our other images, the blue color is to help you remember that this is a DNA virus. Next, notice that the top part of the image is shaped like an arch or a half circle. There are also circular shaped Christmas lights decorating this arch to reflect the holiday season in the image. The circular shapes should help you remember that polyomavirus has a circular DNA structure. If you look closely at the pine decoration, you can see that there are two parallel lines next to each other. Just like in our other images, the parallel lines are here to help you remember that polyomavirus has a double-stranded DNA genome. Now notice that we've added two mannequins sitting right outside of JCPenney. Mannequins are pretty ubiquitous in malls, so we've included some naked ones here to help you remember that polyomavirus is a non-enveloped or naked virus. Okay, now let's talk about the specifics of BK virus, and then we'll discuss JC virus. Everything on the left side of the image near Burger King is specific for BK virus, and everything on the right side of the image under the JCPenney store is specific for JC virus. Hopefully by the way we've organized the image, you'll be able to compartmentalize this in your head without too much difficulty. Okay, notice that we've shown one of the Burger King employees giving some customers their food. Also notice that the sign behind him says, try our new kidney bean veggie burger. This boy decided to try it as you can see on the plate. The kidney bean burger and the sign behind the employee should help you remember that BK virus targets the kidneys. Kidneys are shaped like kidney beans and they both have the word kidney in them. So hopefully this will be pretty easy to remember. You can also see that there are a bunch of different kinds of meat because this guy is a butcher. He prepares all of the meat in the store. A butcher is kind of like an organ harvester, similar to a transplant surgeon. So this part of the scene should help you remember that BK virus commonly infects transplant patients. BK virus can also cause other issues with the urinary tract, including hemorrhagic cystitis, which is characterized by bladder pain and hematuria. To help you remember this, we've shown the employee handing the girl in the pink shirt a plate of pomegranate that's very juicy and spilling all over the place. Pomegranate fruit is full of seeds that look kind of like cysts and should help you think of cystitis. The fact that the fruit is red and leaking all over the place should make you think of hemorrhage. So putting all this together, we get hemorrhagic cystitis. So BK virus causes hemorrhagic cystitis. Okay, now let's discuss JC virus. JC virus is actually pretty common in the general population, but doesn't produce any symptoms because the virus is latent in healthy individuals. It only becomes problematic when the immune system is compromised. To help you remember this, we've shown a lazy worker sleeping on the job. So sleeping employee, for virus becomes latent. Most commonly, JC virus affects AIDS patients. To help you remember this, we've shown this girl with a Band-Aid on her arm. So JC virus is commonly associated with AIDS patients. Notice that the girl just purchased something for $200, as you can see by her receipt. The $200 receipt should help you remember that reactivation of JC virus typically doesn't occur until the CD4 count is less than 200. The expensive $200 article of clothing that was just purchased was this intricate polka dot veil. The veil is a symbol for progressive multifocal leukoencephalopathy. The many polka dots are a reference to the multifocal, non-enhancing areas of demyelination in the brain. And the fact that the veil covers her head should make you think of the brain, or encephalopathy. So intricate polka dot veil for JC virus causes progressive multifocal leukoencephalopathy, or PML. The non-enhancing areas of demyelination can be seen on an MRI. So to help you remember this, we've shown an MRI of the brain in front of the sleeping employee. This is an MRI of the brain showing PML. The left and right are weighted differently, but it's the same patient. Notice the enhancing lesions seen right here and right here. Finally, we've included a bunch of CDs to the image underneath the JC Penny store. Let's zoom up so you can see this better. As you can see, there are a bunch of CDs of the famous jazz singer Nat King Cole in the JC Penny store. And this is here to help you remember that the risk of PML increases in patients who are taking natalizumab. Nat King Cole sounds kind of like natalizumab, so this will be our symbol for natalizumab. This is an immunosuppressant medication that's used to treat multiple sclerosis and Crohn's disease, but the immunosuppressive effects of the drug 
result in an increased risk of PML. Okay, now that we've covered the image, let's review with a question. A 27-year-old female comes to the office due to a three-day history of dysuria and hematuria. One year ago, she underwent major surgery for a left kidney transplant. Physical examination is unremarkable. Laboratory evaluation reveals an elevated serum creatinine. A kidney biopsy reveals intranuclear basophilic viral inclusions without a surrounding halo. PCR analysis of the patient's plasma confirms that her symptoms are due to a viral infection. What is the most likely diagnosis? A. CMV, B. BK virus, C. JC virus, or D. Delta virus. Okay, hopefully from the question stem, you notice that this patient has dysuria and hematuria after a left kidney transplant. This is a classic description of hemorrhagic cystitis. With this information, you should be able to confidently conclude that the correct answer is B. BK virus. As we've been discussing, this commonly targets the kidneys and causes hemorrhagic cystitis in kidney transplant patients. The biopsy revealed intranuclear basophilic viral inclusions without a surrounding halo. This is an important part of the question stem because it's telling you that the diagnosis is not CMV. Recall that CMV can result in infection among transplant patients, but a biopsy would have revealed the characteristic owl eye intranuclear inclusions. In other words, a kidney biopsy would have revealed intranuclear basophilic viral inclusions with a surrounding halo. So A is incorrect. JC virus is a polyomavirus, just like BK virus, but it causes PML in AIDS patients, not hemorrhagic cystitis in renal transplant patients. So C is incorrect. D is referring to hepatitis D. This virus causes liver damage and is commonly associated with hepatitis B co-infections, so D is incorrect. From the image, recall that everything under the Burger King sign right here represents BK virus. The butcher represents transplant patients, and the messy pomegranate right here represents hemorrhagic cystitis. 